Hey there awesome people, how are you guys doing? So this is your Vbro from Tech Week and so today in this video we are going to be talking about the best application for taking screenshots in Windows. And if this is the first time you're watching my video, please do sub consider subscribing to my channel as well as like this video as YouTube loves likes. Well this software that we are going to be talking about today is nothing but Winsnap by NetWin Software. And there are some really interesting reasons for me to love this software like you will get to know about it in a later part of this video. Well, the first reason for me to love this software is because the software is really simple to use and it is really effective. Let's take a look at how the software really looks like. Now, as you can see, as soon as I open up the application, there is a quick screenshot taken by Winsnap. This feature can easily be turned off as well if you don't like, but for me, I pretty much love it as it just takes a quick screenshot of whatever this screen is displaying. Like I love this feature. There are like times when I just need a quick screenshot and Winsnap just actually does that. So I pretty much love this feature a lot. Well, all right, now after a screenshot has been captured, you can see that uh, basically there are tons and tons of buttons all around the window. Don't be uh, like puzzled. Uh, let me just start from the bottom uh, for where you can just understand pretty nicely. Well, the first option is select. Well, this is used to select different elements that you can add onto your screenshot. You'll get to see it in action just after a few seconds. The next option is crop. This is basically used to crop a specific section of a screenshot that you want to capture. For example, you don't want to capture the full screen. You just want a specific paragraph or a specific region to capture. Well, then this option is definitely for you. You can use this to just capture a definite area or definite specific region of the whole screen. So that's pretty great for users like you. The next option is pen. Well, this is used to draw something on your screenshot. This is really helpful if you want to add some personal touch onto your screenshot. You can also change the color of the pen from this box right here. The following option is used to draw a straight line and it's pretty basic. You can just use it to draw a straight line for some reasons you might have, which I don't pretty much use it by myself. Well, the next option is pretty kind of uh, useful as this is used to draw a straight arrow. Well, this is useful for pointing to something and hence can be used to show something to others. Like, for example, hey, you just need to click the menu, which is up here. You can just show it with this arrow uh, like feature, which is pretty darn good. The following three buttons are used for drawing rectangular or circular boxes for sewing specific regions that might vary upon you like whatever things you want to show or where you want to use the next button is highlight tool well this tool is used for highlighting in a specific uh region or sentence of your writing for example this feature is like really helpful for students as well as teachers who really wants to like highlight a specific region of the page or something like that which is pretty useful for the students as well as teachers as well the later is the pixelate tool. Well, this is used to blur some sensitive information that you might not feel like sharing with others. It's really simple. You can just use it to select the area and just drag it and that's it. It just works pretty great. And yeah, I use it a lot for my works as well. The next tool is text tool. This is nothing but just it adds text onto your screenshot. Well, this is pretty useful for creating tutorials or anything as such if you want. I basically use this tool a lot and even you would use this too. I know that for sure. You can also change the font and size of the text as well. So yeah, that's pretty great. You can also change the color of the text as well as the borders of the text. Like, yeah, it just looks pretty sweet. The next button are copy and save, which is just used to save the screenshot that you have just captured. So yeah, you know it as well. If you go a bit above that, you will see this resize toggle, which contains the size of the screenshot that you would like to take. Below that is the resolution value, as you can see right here. Now on top of the resize toggle, you can see the effects where you can just add shadows, reflections, outlines, watermark, and lastly is colorize, which is just used to darken the capture. So yeah, you get that point. 
Over top of that is the source. Here you can select which window to capture, like if you want to capture a definite window or an application. And along with that, you can also use this option to enable the capture of the cursor, delay, and etc. Like for cursor, it is just like if you want the cursor to be included in your screenshot. And delay is the amount of time delay that you want after pressing the capture button. So yeah, you get that right. And the last big button is nothing but just the capture. If you just press it, it will just take the screenshot and that's it. Well, these are the major features that you can use in Winsnail. Like I use the screen capturing software like every day and even I use it to make thumbnails for my YouTube videos. It's pretty easy and also it's pretty effective. Even in this video, the thumbnail that you're just watching is also made using by Winsnail. Well, that's pretty much it guys if you are looking for the best screenshot taking software for your computer then this software which is known as winstamp is a great option for you i would also like to mention that this video is not sponsored by any means all the opinions that you're listening to are my own and nobody has paid me to do anything like that now for the links you can go ahead into the description box you will get all the links for this website uh, of this website there like uh, the software's website and stuff like that and if you got any queries you know how to reach me down in the comment box down below and whatever it may be just let me know if you want to just say that uh, get the hell out of here or something like that just go ahead into the comment box and just let me know i will just try to do it like if you say that go away i will try or i will just go away just jokes uh, i was a bad joke i know and uh, that's pretty much it guys have a great day god bless you all peace and please do subscribe like i said and that's pretty much it have a great day and god bless you on uh, like god bless you all yeah great um take care peace